Yahoo! YouTube. I am Super Yankee. And in today's thought of the day, I want to ask you a question. What do you think is the difference between common knowledge and common practice? Not really the difference, but the gap between the two. I was talking a little bit about it on Twitch today because three instances happened in the past week that finally led me to making an adjustment in my character. This adjustment was thinking more about other people's feelings when making my own actions. I'm gonna post a chapter on it. I'm gonna post a chapter about it on Bubblegum Positivity blog, something I just started, really excited, on Saturday. But we were going a little bit into this on Twitch today, and I was thinking that, you know, a lot of people make the same mistakes, but what stops them from learning from those, from those mistakes? What stops them from making the adjustments in their character traits? What I think it is, is understanding why their decision was wrong and how it affected other people in a negative light. Because me, I've always been like prioritizing my own feelings, my own experiences, myself above the feelings of others. And it's a double-edged sword kind of thing. I mean, sometimes it's right, sometimes it's the right choice to make, but sometimes it's also not the right choice to make. I'll give you an example. When I lived in America, with my family at home, there's like seven of us, right? And we always used to have a gallon of milk in the fridge. Now, quite frequently, I wouldn't say like two to three to four times a month, I would just drink a whole gallon of milk in one day. And then my family would wake up the next day wanting cereal, and they look in the fridge and there was no milk. They would get really mad at me because I drank all the milk the night before. Especially my dad, he would always yell at me. He'd always be like, yo, you're not considering this, blah, blah, blah. He'd always yell at me and I was like, yo, I don't know what to do. I, I always brushed it off, I thought it wasn't that bad. This is an instance where I put my own desire above the feelings of others. You know, I didn't really think about what the consequences of my actions were when I committed the action. Now that was like 10 years ago, maybe, <laughs> that lasted for maybe like 10 years. Believe me, I drank a lot of milk when I lived in America. I haven't had milk in a couple of months, but I drank a lot of milk when I was in America, which led me to this last week where three different instances of making a decision by myself without thinking about the consequences of other people, without thinking about the feelings of other people, led me to finally making the adjustment. You can read about what those are in the update I'm gonna make on Saturday, but I'm curious, why didn't I make the adjustment sooner? I think that I didn't make the adjustment sooner because no one ever explained to me why my choice, why my action effect, would affect other people and affect their feelings. Now, in America, I feel like we have a, a concept called respect, but respect is usually centered around time. In Europe, I think that respect is less centered around time and more centered around feelings. You want to respect people's feelings, not protect their feelings, but respect their feelings. You know, and we're gonna get into this later on in the week and in more YouTube videos. But yeah, YouTube, I just wanted to throw out that idea today. Tell you what I'm thinking about. Get you ramped up for these um, bubblegumpositivity.com. It's my blog and my professional blog and we'll be writing some good stuff there. And yeah, I'm on my way home. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Likes help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I like subscribers too. I'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year. Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments with Yankee Energy and positivity. I have to like do a bunch of stuff. I have to like walk. I have to mind the cars and the people and film the video and mind what I'm saying too. It's really fun. But most importantly, share this video with your friends because we need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.